So this is the headmaster's office. Have you been here much before? I uh, try to avoid it, I suppose, every now and again. Hasn't been for a while, though. I've been a good kid. Do you remember the last time you were in here in uh, worse circumstance? Oh, I think it was the last time we had to get a picture done for the paper and I was told I had to go and shave, so <laughs> we avoided that one pretty well. So a few weeks ago you chose to play for your school rather than Richmond. Why? I suppose uh, for a number of reasons. Danny Frawley uh, had a chat to me sort of two weeks before and sort of said, we'll leave the decision to you, but um, no hard feelings here, whatever you choose. He, he thought it'd probably be a good idea. Uh, a few of the guys around the club said, if I didn't, I might regret it later on, sort of the last time we get to play with my mates. Uh, but the other big one was uh, when I first came to Kerry, I used to be a soccer player and I was going to take soccer up here, but all my mates sort of said, no, nah, no, nah, I've got to play footy. He brought me down to the local club and um, since then I've just played with them for the last six years. So it's a pretty big thing to finish it off. So what's more important, Richmond or your mates? <laughs> I suppose the Richmond Footy Club is very important, but so is my mates and, and the club say that all the time. Balance is the key, so with school as well, I've got to balance that and so does everybody else down there, even though they don't go to school. You decided to nominate for the draft last year rather than wait for this year when you would have been almost assured of being a top 10 pick. Why did you do that? Well, the plan was I wasn't actually going to. I was going to do that, finish school and nominate this year. But the Richmond guys uh, rang me up about two weeks. Actually, they spoke to my parents two weeks before the draft and um, laid out the plan that they were happy, to me for, happy, happy for me to finish school and um, put footy second for the year. Uh, so I suppose then they came spoke to me and I weighed up my options said that's probably a good idea. The fact that Rochi was down there was sort of helpful and also I wasn't 18 so I needed somewhere along the train line <laughs> which was very mu much more handy in the summer in the pre-season um, and since then I've never looked back. Can you believe it? Daniel Jackson, his opponent, as Ed said, played school footy last week. How would he be feeling playing on one of the toughest men in football right now? Up to full four, Mooney has got it. Did you have a run in with Cameron Mooney? I suppose he had, he had a run in with me, he took a mark, kicked a goal and shoved me aside. I didn't have much say in it at all, actually. I didn't say anything, him, say anything to him after he'd kicked it either. I'd let him have that one, just this time. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll pipe up. So how have you handled the turmoil of having your coach moved on mid-season? Uh, I suppose because I've been here half the time, I, I miss most of that. I remember, though, when he announced it, I was actually in the meeting and um, sort of... I suppose it was new to me with having someone leave, announce leave. I went downstairs and I sort of said to someone, everyone seems pretty, pretty you know, I haven't changed too much, what's the deal? They said, well, that's just the life of footy. Everyone comes and goes every year. They, you guys get used to that. The senior players have seen it happen before, so you just got to get used to it. Have you met Terry Wallace? I haven't, no. And will that be an interesting time, meeting a new coach? Is that something you're excited about? Um, well, it's just as exciting as meeting any other new coach. First time I met Danny Frawley or David Flood down at the VFL. They've always got new things to teach you and new ways it's just I suppose always take take a bit from everything take a bit from the captains from the other players and obviously especially the coaches so well, I suppose look forward to it yeah, well.